Hello and welcome to a game of Dota 2. We've got EG here and KP will be their opponents for the second time today because this is the second game of the best of three they play to decide who goes to the winner's bracket and who goes to the loser bracket of the Corsair Gaming Summer Tournament. We have got ourselves a double elimination bracket, like I said, best out of three, so the way apart from the grand finals, which are best out of five. And for today, I have a co-caster, Kanaz. Welcome back. Good to be back. So, this time, no timber saw ban. Yeah, maybe that's uh, the EG secret tech for uh, first pick, yeah. is uh, ban out timber saw because it catches them off guard. I don't know. No one expects the timber saw Whoa. ban. But this is also unusual with Very. the first picking. Off lane Spirit Breaker. I would like to see that. That's but how I play Spirit Breaker. Timber saw off, off lane, solo mid Spirit Breaker, Alchemist on the carry. I mean, that seems likely yeah. uh, given these three heroes, but man, KP, they do unusual things from time to time. True. Very true. Five seconds remaining. We're gonna see it though. We have some bans. It's a Phantom Lancer that still was, of course, banned out. The Rubik ends up being banned on the side of EG. Kind of a shame, but yeah, we knew that was going to happen, probably. Yeah, I think uh, the Rubik being banned out is probably a good choice here. They need, if KP are looking for another support, Rubik definitely a very powerful one. Visage, of course, was already banned out very early in the draft, and I think that would have been one of the other ones that came to mind that KP could be running here. Uh, I don't know what KP are going to ban out. It, it really depends on how they think these heroes are going to be laned. They have some options right now. Maybe they're looking for a J.O. hero in the mid lane. Uh, I, I'm not really sure what EG are going to do with this lineup. It's going to be like off lane Bonnie Hunter this time. Safe lane Anti-Mage, Nature's Prophet Jungle, and then they pick up a mid. They have so many options. Yeah, these heroes can move around quite a bit, and it's going to come down to the last pick before really anything is given away. You really feel that Anti-Mage is going to be farming safe lane? But with Nature's Prophet Bounty Hunter, these they can be laned in any number of ways. Yeah, so Storm that gets banned out last. So that will be one that is uh, not... <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah. Would you believe that this is the second time today that I see a Bloodseeker? Um... No. <laughs> I cast I mean, Zenith. My answer is a... Yes. Good old Zenith. Good old Zenith. Sweet thing. Yes. They won, <laughs> by the way, with a Bloodseeker. Yes. Bloodseeker, what a sweet hero who. But what's up with I'm... this draft? I mean, we have a Bloodseeker, <laughs> Timber Saw, and a Spirit Breaker. What's going on? Did these teams have, like, saying, like, hey, you know what? Let's just, you know, let, let, we're not going to TA3. We don't have to practice. We're just going to have fun. They're out. They're trying to out troll each other. They're both trying to put each other off their game. So we'll wow. see who that ends up working for. I think EG usually masters of trolling. But, uh, I don't know. KP, they have a pretty sweet lineup as well. Timbersaw picked up by RTZ. Maybe a mid lane hero. Come with me on Spearbreaker? Is that support Spearbreaker? I don't know what's going on right now. It can be support Spearbreaker. It's actually very strong. I think they've done that before. Because all you, right. can charge, you can charge all the time. Like, just right. make lanes go to your favor. And... EG, they do have, again, a very mid-game oriented lineup. They need those levels again. Um, with, the, with the track, of course, needed, and of course also the Rapture needed. A Spirit Breaker can already be a nuisance when he's level 3 or so. So, we'll see how, uh, how KP run him. And, I mean, this time EG has got maybe got some more late game insurance than the previous game, but we'll see how it works out for them. Nice Spirit nice Breaker. Nice SB. Yes. So, so so let's see who's playing what. So Fear will play the Antimage, no surprise. Be this again on the Tree and Protector. Bamboo again on the Nature's Prophet. It is the Courier Killer. We have in the middle lane Jao playing the Bloodseeker. And it will be Demon this time on the Bounty Hunter. Yep. And for KP on the Radiant side, we're going to have RTZ in the middle lane on Timbersaw. Uh, somewhat unusual since the middle lane is the least heavily wooded area. Yes. Go block would be proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This this yeah. It's very crazy lineup. This meta game's a disaster. Also true. Uh, so we're gonna have Pile I die in the bottom lane on the Keeper Light come with me hanging down there as well. On the Spirit Breaker, Eternal Envy looks like he'll probably make his way down there. He's currently on the Alchemist, and the top lane that's gonna be Bone Seven on the Clockwork Goblin. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh... 
in this, I mean, n we're not going to see that many surprise linings coming off from EG. Seconds. I mean, that's pretty straightforward from them, right? Just put your Dage Prophet in the jungle, put your dual, dual lane safe lane with the anti mage, blah. So the surprises should be coming from uh, KP. So far, so good. Timber cell mid. I don't. Well, of you know that's one of the downsides of playing the same roles over and over again. They already know that the timber cell will be mid because Arteezy is playing him. They already know that the cl that the spirit breaker is played as support because Come with Me is playing him. By the way, Come with Me. He's planning on charging up on bounty hunter a lot. He's got sentries and dust. Yeah, it's actually one of the very powerful effects of spirit breaker. He's very good against bounty hunter. You can just charge at him and dust right as you get there, and you'll still hit him with the charge. And then he's usually pretty easy to kill at that point. Oh, and here and we go. And here we go. That's gonna be there and dust and stun and first blood goes the way of KP. Poor demon. Cow gets the first blood money. It's true. The uh, like space cow with his first blood money. It's Why is be he called space good. cow? I don't know, he's like a space cow. He's like from outer space and shit. I don't know. Why, why is he from outer space? I mean, it's not like... I don't it, know. It, like, it looks like a normal cow. I think cow is from outer space. Does he? It doesn't, he's look like, like, he's like blue. He's got like ghostiness. Okay, then, well then I would say he's been a, he's a cow that, you know, has been in Chernobyl. He's a cow that's been in Chernobyl. Like he's he's okay. survived a nuclear disaster. I thought that makes things green, not blue. Well, then it is the son, it's a male, yeah. It is the son of a cow uh, and, and a bull. The bull... Come with me charging J.O. Okay, the... <laughs> Wait a second, I'll finish my train of thought in a moment. J.O. should be fine though, I think. But the bull was a, survi a survivor of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. And the cow is the Milka cow. Okay. <laughs> So he I comes out. Write our own lore for what Spirit Breaker is, and what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a really weird matchup. I don't know who wins in this mid lane. I, I feel like it should be Jo on the Bloodseeker, but I don't know for sure, and that makes me uncomfortable. Well, so far so good for Jo. I'd have to say five to one on last hits with Arteezy sitting on seven to zero. So, in terms of last hits, it's not really going all too far in the way of. Uh, J oh, we silenced up J oh, uh, sorry, Arteezy, and, and he hits like a truck right now, so he has to be careful there. The living armor will help out. This is a constant battle. Yeah, both of these heroes are melee, which is not something we see very often. Nowadays, Demon's going in on Arteezy, though. Yeah, he has got that level 1 in Zenata, so the slow was there, but there's not enough damage to take him down. He's so very tanky, and he actually went into reactive armor as well. Yeah, he's grabbed two points, which makes it very difficult for J.O. to ever actually win. If he continues this train of leveling, it's very powerful for laning, but it's going to definitely make him weaker for ganking. You really want your other two spells to have those points early, particularly Timber Chain. But Timber Chain is really kind of useless in the middle lane. Like I was mentioning earlier, it's, not, it's like the least heavily forested lane. There's a lot of space right around the river, which is where you spend most of your time fighting. Yeah. So Timber Chain does get a pickup. <gasps> Demon! Demon doesn't get it, it was so close. The courier lives. Demon. He had that haste rune with the haste rune looking to pick up the flying courier, but couldn't get it done in the end. Yep, and the beetle bear lives to fly another day. Mm -hmm. Beetle bear. Not the best invention ever. <laughs> Not a fan? Not a fan. Oh, maybe, no, RTC is so stupidly tanky. He actually completely skips the timber chain because he knows that there's no trees around. Yeah. It's nice. It's definitely a pretty intelligent reactive uh, choice because of knowing where you are. A reactive like reactive armor. Yeah, um, I think that's <laughs> fun intended. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't really intended, but I'll take credit for it anyways. It was great. Maybe I was thinking about it subconsciously. Uh, I just, I don't know if he's going to be able to do as much in the mid game as normally a timber saw would be able to because he's not going to have any of those points in that timber chain. That does a lot of damage on a short cooldown. Yeah, true. On the bright side, he can cut down trees real fast. And Nature's Prophet won't be able to sprout him up that easily. Yes, Nature's Prophet is particularly ineffective against timber saw. Yes. So far, Fear is still happily farming on the top lane. He's actually 21 to 4. He is actually passed by Bloodseeker, so J.O. is actually ahead here on this middle lane in terms of last hits. 
And uh, Artis is going to get a visit of some illusions from trees. Beat is having fun with that. But look at that. I mean, the reactive armor just goes up and Artis can just sit here and be happily tanky. And he's actually going to go with Jo with all those stacks. Jo has to be very careful here still. I mean, with the Rapture it might be different, of course, because that's AP remo removal. Oh, Demon getting charged up. The dust is there as well. Here comes the stun. Is it going to be another kill or is he able to survive this one? Living armor will come in. Demon just tries to run for it. Eats through his so trees. Oh my god, he gets himself out. He is on the run and his dust is about to disappear. And oh, the sentry still standing there. He can run though and he should be safe. That is going to be one lucky or sorry, skilled bounty hunter. Demon, what a player. What a uh, player. He used every tango he had to cut a circle to get out of there because he was body blocked. Nice base circle away. though. Yeah, it's a very pretty circle. Yes. Pretty than I can draw. Oh, we have some support coming in here. At least Keeper of Light giving RTC a bit of extra mana so that he can Chakram and Whirling Death a little bit more. J.O. level 6 though, and that might be giving uh, him a slight edge, but... I am really not sure how this matchup should otherwise go. And I mean, there's no way that he can force Arteezy to move if he has got the, the Rapture on. Because Jeho can hit Arteezy all he wants, he's not going to get him down in a man fight. Yeah, he needs someone else to be here who has some sort of magic damage. And looking, you can look at their lineup mm -hmm. and see that there's nobody. Um, so that could be pro kind of problematic. is going to be a little tanky as the game goes on. One unfortunate thing for him is his anti mage gets big. His mana pool is going to very, very much suffer. Yes. And you really need mana and Timbersaw to be a useful hero. Yeah, and he is, I mean, he is doing well in the mid lane. He is still out last hit it by Jero, though, who's getting charged by the mo at the moment. Come with me comes in, nice Chakram coming in as well. Living armor is already ticked off, and there comes the Illuminate to help out. Come with me ends up taking the last hit. Two kills going the way of KP so far. And with this, uh, the skill actually, Alchemist, is the one to now get ahead on last hits. He is having a, a Envy just all of a sudden gets in a last hitting spree and keeps up with the rest of EG. We also have, of course, now the Timber Saw getting ahead of Jo. No surprise there, Jo is, is still dead. But overall, all the lanes, EG is getting slightly ahead. And there's a charge up on Demon. So perhaps if KP can keep this, this pressure on, no matter how many last hits they have, they will be able to get these kills. Demon running for his life, nice stun. In comes the Rapture. It's up on Envy, yes, actually stands still, bam, or, or Demon pops himself, he'll live. And it's Envy that they want, it's Envy that they might get as well, one more hit, Bamboo gets it, looking for come with me, he tries to run, he's of course a super fast hero, but being alone in life gives Jail that extra movement speed as well, and he gets the kill. And all of a sudden it's 2-2, two -two, and Spirit Breaker only got himself two kills while using four charges. Yeah, uh, that tr living armor has been a huge nuisance for Spearbreaker. He really doesn't do damage early. The stun from charge is very relevant. If you get some bashes, it could be good as well. But he doesn't hit particularly hard, so these ganks haven't been that effective. And turning that around, EG, they c kind of get a substantial lead. Yeah, they do. Um, though they only make it back to even in terms of net worth. In terms of experience, slightly behind, slightly ahead, but I mean that's because of the alchemist happily farming as well. I mean we know that last hit wise he's not that far ahead, but because of his griefful greed, he actually has charge up on Jo, and it is a uh, hookshot in that comes from Bone Seven as well. Living armor's already there though, but how much is it gonna help? It's not gonna help at all. Pile I die with the last hit. Nobody incoming from EG to try and help out. Just the living armor that tried, but it's a tree that is still level four, so only level two living armor. Not enough. And even if it was level 4, I think it wouldn't be enough either. No, uh, he was in a lot of trouble there. He was caught with two melee heroes in the cogs. It was never going to be a very good time for J.O. So he does go down, they get that gank off, it's very good. Uh, and he was just pressuring the top tier to one in the meantime. It's really low on HP. Not going to quite get in deny range. Or unfortunately, I think they would have liked it to just get into my rage to make sure anyway, couldn't take it later. Uh, but the lanes looking like they're mostly passive in the side lanes. It's been mid lane, it's been like constant action due to these spear breaker charges. They come with me charging bottom now. Yep, uh, let's see. Demon, the um, ping is already out. They know where he's, uh, or he should be knowing that this is going on because he saw the charge mid. But he'll have Jo with him as well. They'll be ready for him. The dust goes up. In comes the rapture. A demon might still go down though. Indeed, does. Tracks up on everybody. We'll give, give Jo an easy 
crazy time. And he might be able to pick up, come with me. Should be able to pick up, come with me. One more hit needed. He does have face boots. In comes Fear. Snipes the last hit. And he can because he is a carry. In the meantime, tier one mid does go down. There's nothing Bamboo can do to stop that. TP still comes in. But gets cancelled. That was Jail pretending to TP in. Ooh, and maybe Jail is gonna come help uh, Fear taking down Envy because Envy is now completely out of mana. And Fear rotating. I mean, he got the kill and continues farming bottom. Trying to stop, of course, also Envy from farming a little bit if he can. In the meantime, Jail comes in for a TC. No rupture just yet, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Jail. <laughs> Takes so much damage. In comes a charge. Um, come with me. You might want to cancel that one. He's but really far still. Yeah, he just wants to make sure that he gets himself uh, to the mid lane and maybe get himself a kill. But the living armor already healed Jail up quite a lot again. In the meantime, bottom lane, Envy is being charged up. Or at least not charged up as in charged, but is that under siege? Demon is the one to go down though. Still gets a shuriken toss and a track off. And actually, one Janata hit as well. Might be enough. Hookshot on fear. Slows him down. He can't blink for another three seconds and he will end up going down. That's two kills. Go on the way of KP. And that's gonna keep Envy safe. Jo in the meantime did not die, so that's a good thing for him. Nice pickups for KP on that bottom lane, though. Yeah, what a player, Bone Seven saved Envy with the mini stuns, and then the little stun from Hookshot, and then another mini stun, and Envy walked away. Uh, Beat is in a little bit of trouble, but it looks like he should be perfectly fine. Yeah, the charge was up there from uh, Come with Me. And of course, that will always reveal your position, even if you're invisible. The one big factor there, as uh, Demon actually walks past the sentry ward. It will be Pilai Dai that actually calls someone with him, or to him. And hello, Bone7. More sentry wards being placed just next to the tower. They know where he should be. The dust gets popped. They find him. Demon gets living armor, but is it gonna be enough? In comes Arteezy as well. More players being called. Not needed, though. Bounty Hunter goes down. Clockwork with the last hit. And Envy is gonna get put to top regardless if he wants it or not. And we'll be helping with a tier 1 tower. Ooh, which will go down. For sure. Yep, should be easy. Envy wants the last hit and gets it. Um, I don't know. A little bit sloppy by EG these last couple times. Demon trying to hide because he knows there's a bunch of sentries down. But KP very aware of where he would have to be hiding. And they just walk up to him and get the kill very easily. And... Yeah, they're getting a lot of kills here. Timber saw so is starting to get pretty powerful. Let's put that first point in Timber Chain now. Already quite tanky, yeah. and hook shot on Bamboo. And he's dead. The charge was up on him as well. No hope. In the meantime, Anti Mage is able to pick up a Keeper of Light in the bottom lane. Pilai Dai, trying to defend his tower. Um, is able to defend his tower, I guess. So far, it's still standing, but he does go down for it. And, and yeah, I mean, this is the time where you would see Jo trying to go for as many kills as he wants. He still doesn't have a four staff if he wants to go for that one. This is the time where we would see maybe Bamboo sniping some couriers, getting some map control in their favor. But so far, all towers are still standing on the side of KP. And it is KP that has his mid-game aggression under control with the help of the Spirit Breaker. It's working out for them. They are making kills happen. And even though Come With Me did die twice, he's been involved in five kills. He's been a playmaker this game. Yeah, definitely he's been able to set up a lot of kills with his Spirit Breaker just by charging. Even if he doesn't necessarily even get there for the charge, it gives them the vision, which is very relevant. RTZ getting initiated on, but come with me, he's there as well. Yeah, let's see though, there's a jail. Oh, the Chakram. Tons of damage. Demon will end up going down as well. One more hit needed, actually. Can he get it off? One more hit? Or just a whirling death? No, the hit will be there. Two kills going the way of EG. Beat is. Um, Still able to help kill off the Spirit Breaker, but still win in terms of trade for KP. I'm so quite surprised. Beatus actually did not spec anything into Leech Seed as Keeper of Light picks up Bamboo, but Fear will kill off Bone 7. Good trade. Any kill upon Fear is a good one. Right now, EG needs these kills. But KP doing a very good job as well, just keeping the pressure on there, making it work. They have got the Battle Fury ready on Envy now as well. He's in it for the long haul with that one. But we'll see uh, how long he'll actually need, because he is he is doing really well. He is highest on that worth. Of course, you expect it from an Alchemist, but he has been involved in a couple of kills. He's been just happily farming. And they're heading gold by 6k, almost. Experience graph going away for 5k. It looks like they want to fight bottom. Yeah, these ganks just haven't really been coming out from EG the way they were last game. And I think some of that comes down to the fact that they're kind of playing, they played an off lane 
bounty hunter instead of a safe lane bounty hunter. So bounty hunter really hasn't been the success he once did. Jo gonna get hit by another strike, I guess. Yeah. And that's gonna be him uh, living armored, but he is blocked in. Ends up going down. Clock with the last hit. And they won't be able to find Demon anymore. He went invisible. The hookshot actually hits upon a teammate. Unfortunate. And again, EG can't make it happen here on this bottom lane. Forces everybody of KP to rotate though, which is nice. But it's uh, still quite tricky. It looks like Demon just signed Bamboo's death warrant. Yep, he did. One hit bash. Nope. The dust is still up on Bam uh, up on Demon. He has got tangos. He can eat himself out. Doesn't need to though. We'll end up going down regardless. Timber saw with the last hit. That track up on Come With Me kind of ruined their positioning. Kind of made sure that they knew that they were there. Yeah, they had opportunities to back out, I think, and Bamboo manages to TP out in time, but Demon is just not having any success this game as this uh, bounty hunter. He's 0 and 6, so he's half of the deaths of his team. That's not really ideal. Beat is going to come in. Let's see nice overgrowth coming off, though. But no lead sheet still, and he is now in a ton of trouble. Shakram doesn't reach him, that's good. Hook shut up on Jay in the meantime. Can't help Beat is. Beat is already dead. Timber saw killing off trees, nothing unusual there. Jay is gonna be the next target, the flare will be there, and that's gonna be Bloodseeker down. Nobody else of EG coming in, and in the meantime, they are able to pick up a tower on the top lane, which is great, but they lose their own towers for it. The tier 2 will be next, and there's nobody of EG that can stop this from happening right now. Dyer's bottom tower. Yeah, no, EG just don't really have a game plan right now, I don't think. They're gonna have to wait for Anti Mage to farm so he can get, start getting relevant. And one of the real big factors here is that Alchemist already has abilities that are useful in a fight. And Bounty Hunter goes down again. Yeah, he tried uh, to go I, for an easy snap for Keep of Light, but Greed is not good. Yeah. Though some people might nope. think it is. So Anti Mage is flash farming now with that Battle Fury pickup, but he's still behind Alchemist. So Alchemist is gonna come online earlier. Oh. Uh, obviously. First hit bash on Bamboo who tried to TP out. Come with me. Looking for Bamboo, another bash. This is to support Spirit Breaker, killing off a Nature's Prophet. It works. Onage gets cold. Regeneration. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting you again. No, definitely. <laughs> this kill's happening no. all the time. No, it's it's perfectly appropriate. I I can't believe Come With Me got those like super well timed bashes both times. Mm -hmm. It's like he cast it. Uh, regardless. Yeah, Amy's just still trying to farm. I just don't know if he's going to be able to farm enough, especially since Eternal Envy also has a great farm and is just on a hero who gets way more gold. Yeah, that's it. But that's I mean that's the exact like right right question to ask. E.g., are they able to make it to a late game where they're not behind too much so that Fear can actually take it back? Or is KP gonna steamroll this? And it looks like the latter because Jo again will end up going down. This Bloodseeker pick not working out for them at all. He has now also died six times. So that is that is two thirds of the kills of the team, uh, of the kills of KP up on the Bounty Hunter and a Bloodseeker. And actually Bounty Hunter now dies seven times of course, but dying again bottom. And Roshan will be taken down by KP here. Yeah, and there's nothing EG can do about this. Even if they know what's going on, I'm not sure that they are super aware of it, but it doesn't matter, they can't go in here. It's just more time for enemy to try and farm. If you're gonna try and get some items up, he's getting close to his Yasha. Uh, it's still, his farm is very good, but I just don't know if it's gonna be enough, especially if Eternal Envy decides to back off a little bit. His team is so far ahead that they can probably win 4v4 without him rather easily at this point, and then he can continue to just out farm the enemy pretty heavily. You know, KP is actually putting their couriers up on uh, unorthodox positions just to make sure that Bamboo doesn't snipe them. It was actually sitting on the, on the lane, on the side lane in the forest for a while. And Bamboo did try to snipe, couldn't get it though. We have a charge up, I feel like I hear a charge up. It's on any mage, all the way up to top lane. Uh, he's just using it as a, as a lift though. In the meantime, in the mid lane is where the fight's at. Arteezy. Just walking around with Rupture on while he has his blade mill activated, does a ton of damage to Jo. But in comes Fear and the Mount of Void. That's gonna be a pickup. Nicely done. Dominating streak. First time that Timber saw ended, and the, yeah, the, the charge was still going on. He goes for Jo actually with the Nether Strike, and that's gonna be stuns and bashes all around. Fear dies, Jo dies, and EG on the run once again. Demon gets hooked on and gets killed off. 
the charge doesn't matter anymore because the target was already down. Two people left alive on EG. One is Bamboo who is trying to frantically do something here, but he is not yet in split push mode. And we still have got a train protector, and the only thing he can do is spam out living armor and just sit back. He is 0-1-0. Of course, he's been involved in everything because living armor is all over the place, but he's not really able to show himself. Yeah, and that was a kill on any mage because Bone 7 has an orchid. Not a very traditional pickup on Clockwork, but it was very effective there. Got the kill on any mage, set up this push. And I think if they're able to take this tier 3 down, it's probably going to spell the end for EG in this game. And we'll have to get to the next one. Yeah, of course, EG one game up in the series. So if KP takes this, there will be a game three between these two teams. And maybe some more bans on Timber Saws. And maybe even Spirit Breakers, if that is indeed the case. So, so far, though, I mean, this is KP. If EG takes it back, that would be a big comeback because they're 14k gold behind compared to KP. They're going to try to go for it, though. Down goes Bamboo already. Starts himself up. Still alive for a little while. Tries to TP out. Might be able to actually do it. Sun goes up on fear, Bloodseeker ends up going down. They try to go for it, but I don't think they can. Standing in the Chakram, in the Cogs, that's gonna be three dead already, and one buyback for fear. That's all his gold right there used for the buyback, but the GG gets cold, and EG, they lose to a Spirit Breaker and a Timber Saw, and they used a Bloodseeker to try and fight them. Yeah, it turns out Timber Saw, the better pick. Than for that mid lane, yeah, apparently. very so. We I mean, he just can't die. Yeah, both of those heroes are very good at not dying in lane. Uh, it's interesting, but the ganks a little bit more effective from KP because they have that spear breaker who, of course, can just charge to the lane. It's very easy for him to just rotate towards the mid lane, get the stun off, and uh, you know, from there they were just started kind of falling apart. We're taking all the lanes. Demon got killed quite a bit in that bottom lane. The binder did not have the success that his counterpart Fear had in the first game. I don't know, EG went for a little bit later game-oriented lineup and got punished much in the same way KP did the first game. Yeah, let's see if uh, EG can still win the third one or if KP will take it home. Win this bracket or lose the bracket, that's the question for today. Nobody gets dropped out. You are, of course, watching the Corsair Gaming Summer Tournament. My co-caster is Kanaz. You can follow him on Twitter, at Kanaz Dota. You can follow me on Twitter, on at Shiver Gaming. And we will be also casting the third game of the series, I think. Uh, we will be uh, back with you very shortly.